Hey, travelers. I hope you're having a good time in this matrix today. Lighting up some of that cinnamon incense. I hope you can hear me well. I know there's a lot of echo in this room, but... Let's just deal with it, will ya? Okay. So, with that further ado, I don't even know what that means. I'm like, I get the energy, but <laughs> I'm not an English native speaker. Okay. So, today, I wanted to make a video. Well, uh, I've always kind of wanted to make videos about, like, gemstones. Like, what they do. Woo! Um. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to, like, recycle old information that I've been given and just, like, eh, you know. Um, I like to give um, information that comes from my own plane of understanding. So, this information might not be true to you if you haven't uh, built it in your consciousness <laughs> if you haven't gave meaning to it then perhaps it won't have any meaning or perhaps the meaning you gave to the stone is that it has no meaning you gotta be careful what you subconsciously manifest you know because everybody does magic some people make it so there's no magic and that's their magic but today i'm gonna be talking about uh, this kind of stone uh i don't know if you can see it well Can you? No. <laughs> this, is a sh this is a crappy little lightning, isn't it? But a serpentine stone. Now I'm not gonna tell you like what it's made of, especially since my guess on it, since they're all kind of like different, like they're not all the same color. Like this is darker green. And I like it because it's got like a slit, kind of, kind of like a. I was gonna say a dragon's eye, but kind of like a snake's eye, you know. So that's serpentine. And the reason I wanted to make this video today about Serpentine is because I like to do videos. <laughs> no, but really, um, <laughs> I felt like a, it was a stone that got me like a certain peculiar experience. More so than like, a, well, fluoride, fluorite, fluorite is good also. I like it. Like, I, I got all kinds of gems and stones and things, but this one isn't just like a quartz it's not only like a you know it doesn't like necessarily only energizes stuff or just like cleanses stuff you know certain stones do that like the quartz are really simple in their or uh, energy or you know in what they do i feel like it's a, it's almost like a color it's a solid energy it's just pew whereas this serpentine 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 whatever this stone is cool because it what I've noticed in it is that if you're actually this is gonna get weird if you're actually telepathic if you can um, converse with entities on the other side mind you I don't think there's an other side but it's all one in a sense it's zero at the same time but zero is included in one <laughs> But yeah, serpentine, I feel like it triggers or it activates this part of, a, of our psyche, our, you know, like what some scientists would call the reptilian brain, or it's actually a part of our brain. It's the one that's in the back of our head, closest to the spine, can kind of feel it thing, tingling, tingling at times. But uh, yeah, what this does is it kind of activates that. It activates that part of our intelligence. It um, it enables us to comprehend life from another type of intelligence, or from a more focused, from a more logical, snaky, um, detail-oriented. It gives you the ability of speech. It enables you. It enables you to organize your thought and to be kind of like snaky in how you break them bring them <laughs> break them uh, but yeah you are actually breaking people's conceptions and things because you're just able to understand the mind through it from a really logical and male perspective i feel um, so if you want to discuss with entities that have this intelligence primarily 
um, you could use that so that it could filter your own thoughts and translate them in a snaky vibe, in a serpent energy vibe, you know? So that it could help comprehension between entities of different polarities. Perhaps some people are more on the reptilian side of the intelligence. So you could, um, you could give them uh, a serpentine, serpentine, whatever, the serpent stone, and that would enable them to channel or to um, learn how to use the serpent's energy wisely. Now, what's the serpent energy? Like some people might be saying Kundalini, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, sure. But like, I feel the way we relate to the serpent, if it's not from our predatory brain or like, you know, our survival instincts is mainly in our spine, right? Because the we kind of have the same anatomy or I don't, I'm not going to say we have the same anatomy as a snake, but the the way our spine works really resembles a snake. So this stone, the serpentine, it could get you in touch with your own snaky energy, with your own fiery kundalini if you want. You could use it during sex to fuel the energy, but mostly I feel like people would say it gives a protection, it gives um, a sense of security, it protects against black magic, but I feel like it's just a filter for the predatory brain for the survival instincts. And since it brings you to that vibration where you can understand it when it comes, it cannot manipulate you as easy. The snake's energy cannot do it as easily if you have a serpentine because it just filters stuff and you understand through it, you know? It's also a protective stone. Uh, how it protects you? Well, I could say the way it protected me. I was sparring with a friend, you know, just fighting. And I had the stone in my pocket. And it would non-stop hit the stone through my t-shirt's pocket. Therefore protecting me in a way, you know. So there's this certain energy. The snake's energy likes to protect also, you know. And it's a very strong energy. And some people would say that it's a bad energy. Or that it's a really good energy. Every energy is needed in this universe. But... Surely it's not uh, negative or is it doesn't bring us down as the Bible would like to tell us, you know. I find it weird and I'm just going all over the place right there because uh, this is what I do on my channel. You're welcome to look at my astrology videos because this is mostly the craft that I practice. But I like to talk about consciousness stuff and I bring it from my own understanding. But I totally lost what I was going to say. So, having the snakes and yeah, it protects us in a sense. And the snake energy is very strong. And we all have access to it in this world. It's just how are you using it? Are you using it to understand your world from a logical standpoint? Are you using it for your survival where you just are able to fulfill your needs, but when the time is needed, you can go to your other intelligences, like the feline one, the primate one, so you could feel things. Hey, feline. See, it works with the feline brain, but from your feline brain, you you feel emotions and stuff. And from your primate brain, the frontal, like I suck at like anatomy, but I think it's the frontal lobe or like this part of the, the brain, you communicate. You know, and it gives you your monkey kind of abilities. So if you're able to use that snake energy to survive and you're still able to access those two other intelligences, good for you. But also the snake energy could be used to overpower someone, you know, kind of like boa constrict someone like. Ah! <laughs> so it has to be used wisely. Um, other snake energies, dragons, <laughs> salamanders, perhaps. I feel like it's a fire stone, and it's a heart stone also, like an earth stone. But it's very grounding at the same time. And I'm saying this, I'm all over the place, but mind you, this is just me. I'm always all over the place, plus I'm lighting this doobie right now, because uh, that's what I want to do. Woo, I'm just burning my hair. So, perhaps, I've, I've seen that it could... Um, help you with your kundalini um personally i don't i think the kundalini rising or like getting the energy to your higher centers 
uh, is a lot of work. So perhaps if you have a little stone to help you, it could help you. If you want to do that, perhaps the, the stone you're going to find is going to be the one for you. Now, I don't know why I haven't said this before, but I kind of feel like, and this is just me putting my magic, so do your own thing. But I feel like every serpentine, serpentine stone, I should really look up how to pronounce that before making videos, right? But I found that this stone, and I saw this at the store, the crystal shop. Like, I was seeing all those stones, and I, they all felt like their own little snake guide, spirit entity, you know? And usually I'm af not afraid of snakes, but you know, I naturally keep myself a distance from them. Because it's not my most prominent energy. And I don't want to... Most of the time I don't want to, you know, work too much against it. So I stay away from it. But it felt like they were all like those entities. And I picked the one that fit me best. And I've had this for a long time. I like the shape also. It's a shame we can't really see it that well. But, um... Yeah, they all feel like they're little snakes. So if you're choosing one, or if one chose you, try to feel it. Try to hear what it has to say to you. Perhaps it has all of these effects that I mentioned, because there is a snaky entity behind the stone, behind the energy. Or perhaps snaky... <laughs> snaky. Perhaps, like, the snake's energy is attracted to that stone. So once you've got that, you could contact some of them. And different stones will have different energies, so they could attract different entities. Well, I guess that's kind of what I had to say. Sorry if I'm all over the place, but I know there's some cool information in there. I hope you liked it. Have a good one. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. I don't like to beg for stuff, but, um, you know.